All right, guys, we got a 7.3 here, and I'm using the vacuum vacuum tester for uh, uh, bleeding the cooling system. So works really well. Hook it up to the shop air; it's regulated. I usually fill it up right at the full mark uh, with uh, with coolant and distilled water. And what it does is it brings it into a vacuum. And once you get that, you can see how much vacuum you have. So once it's under vacuum, it sucks all the air out of the cooling system. And as you can see, the hose is completely collapsed. So there you go. So it's sucking all the air out. And then sometimes you'll see the air bubbles coming up. So, other than that, that's pretty much it. And then usually what I do is release it from here slowly. See it drop down. There you go. So it was at the max mark, and it dropped maybe. I don't know, about an inch. So that's how much air was in the system. Now, I don't have to go and drive and bleed it and stuff like that, because I use this tool. So other than that, it's pretty much it, guys. So, oh, what was wrong with this thing was, was the inlet tube on the bottom right there, where the orange sticker's at, it was leaking right there. So we placed the seal, uh, put new coolant, and that's pretty much it. This thing has about, 200,000 miles on it and I talked to the customer it hasn't had any problems so this is like his first problem so that's pretty much you guys it's a 2000 7.3 they don't make them like they used to so other than that that's pretty much you guys all right late